That was so pretty and it's so nice. So here's some context. For Christmas, I got this little thing. It's the Pine 64 Pine Soul. And it's such a good soldering iron. And part of the reason that makes it so good is because there's a bunch of open source things out there for it, including this rugged case that's meant to be an all-in-one soldering thing or soldering kit, so to speak. Now it's not just for the pine soul, it's also for the TS-100, which is a more expensive alternative of this, uh, you know, of this product. But I gotta be honest with you, it's hard to compete with this thing. And I hope I could do a full review on this in the near future. If you're interested about that, let me know. But this video is not about the product. This video is about the 3D printed case that um, you can make, that you can make with it. So let's talk material choices. You could use PLA, you could use PTG, you could use your favorite material, but I went with ABS and here's the thing. This is a soldering iron case and while the case itself may not get hot, I don't want to have to worry about putting my soldering iron even just a little bit warm in there and then come back to a goopy melted case. So I went with ABS and I printed everything pretty much at Voron spec. It turned out to be about 10 hours of printing give or take on my machine. Now, I run my machine very conservatively for longevity's sake and to decrease the amount of failures and all that stuff. So, I mean, your mileage may vary. But yeah, you don't need an enclosed machine to do this. If you only have PLA, you should be fine. Do you know who will be fine regardless and who will have all the material choices in the world and not have to wait 10 hours or and have possible machine failure to go along with that? The people who use today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop to turning your projects into reality. They offer a multitude of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, and PCB fabrication. They offer both populated and unpopulated boards, as well as a multitude of 3D printing materials, some of which include ABS, PLA, and TPU. They also have a shared projects category, where open source projects by the community are easily accessible for all. Thank you PCBWay for being the channel sponsor. The case is made from, um, it's made by a guy called Termiman, and he has a print and place model that suffices. It's, I think it's designed for the TS-80, TS-100, but this guy whose name I am um, having issues pronouncing, uh, Jort Strauch, sorry, um, he made the rugged version and it's, it's so nice, it looks really nice. I like the inserts, it's easy to customize, it is awesome. I made two, I made one for my brother um, for his birthday and I made one for myself and it's, it's, just, it's just the nicest thing ever, really. I cannot get over the, how good it is because before then I had this chunky, soldering kit and to be fair i have a lot a lot more stuff in here i have you know uh my old soldering iron that uh, has not seen any love and affection in who knows how long now um i have cable strippers i have uh, more solder i have tools all kinds of stuff so it, it, my old kit's not going anywhere but if i'm going to say go to school to get some work done having this on hand is so again it's just, it's just I, it really is a game changer. I don't know what else to say. Um, I was blind, but now I see. A quick note on the little brass thing that you put in so you can clip, uh, sorry, so you can clean the tip of your soldering iron. You gotta jam that thing in there. It, it, uh, there's a bunch of different ones you can get on Amazon, but the particular ones I got are a little chunky. And it's fine, I I mean, I'm, those are the ones I'm used to, which is why I ended up buying them. But just be sure that you're pressing them in um, very well, because if you don't do that, there is a slight chance it could rub around the plastic and that kind of stuff. So that was a concern of mine. I have not been using this long enough to see any wear on the plastic, but it is a concern. Moving on to hardware choices. So as far as hardware is concerned, you can use M3 hardware. 
it is pretty much standard across the entire uh, build and I really enjoy that because if you have anything left over from say the Voron build or any other 3D printer chances are you have some M3 hardware laying around. Um, it is very common and I pretty much exclusively use M3 hardware for anything I design so that is very very nice to have. You also need a skateboard bearing. I do not know the denomination. I just know you need one. My friend gave one to me um, so that I could do this. It, it works perfectly. I thought that the rubber seals on them would get maybe a little too hot. No, nope, it doesn't. It doesn't even feel it. It is perfect. The little wheels that you use to spool up your solder wire or desoldering wick with are a little annoying. I recommend you click them into place first and then you super glue on them. That's the best method. I did it the other way around and uh, I struggled a little bit. I only showed the one time it worked out, but I lost like four reels to this. I had to reprint that part like three or four times. It was a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But I actually love the reels because they're easy to take out and put back in. And it's easier to control how much solder you're feeding with them, if that makes any sense. One thing that did impress me about the reels is just how much material you can spool into them. Like they can take a lot of solder wire and a lot of desoldering wick, which I realized I ran out of pretty much during the making of the video, but they can take a lot. Like I, I, I couldn't even fill my reel up. And I mean, I have more solder wire, but I got bored, outright bored of just winding the thing before you know i reached the very uh, cap of what it could hold so i have no idea how much but it's at least a couple meters easily so this video is very experimental in the fact that it has really nothing to do with 3d printing with you know it has everything to do with 3d printing it has not much to do with building a 3d printer which has been my content exclusively up until now but i wanted to do something that more people would relate to because not everyone wants to build a 3d printer but everyone I, in my opinion i feel like everyone is interested in it like in the process of 3d printing to some extent so i wanted to showcase something that you could make that's simple and very useful so that people could see the potential in it. Because I feel like in the 3D printing space, we all understand how powerful it is, but to people that are not in this realm, they see it as, th as something that can, you can only make trinkets or like things that are not very useful with, or like maybe like some people are, I don't know, intimidated by the fact that they feel like they need to learn CAD and Fusion and stuff like that. And that's not the case. This is something I downloaded off the internet. And even though I can do CAD, I had to absolutely touch nothing with this. This just printed directly from the internet. And it's something that's incredibly useful. I was talking to my friend about this and he says that like he has, while he knows CAD, he doesn't need to because he just finds everything that he wants to have and oftentimes the solution is better like the the solution up on printables or on thinkverse is often better than what you could come up with yourself and this is a perfect example of that i could have come up with a case for my soldering iron long ago but i doubt it would be as good as this so yeah hopefully this has shown some of you that you can you don't need to be an expert and that like there's a lot of potential in this type of uh in this hobby in this field in this area yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you very much and i'll see you next time